restart. <laughs> Just a bit of a rough start here. Okay, it went right in, so uh, it's working now. Press start. So the thought is, for this game, randomly selected. Save options? I, I don't know. There is a Roadster Trophy multiplayer quick race time trial. We're just going to do a trophy. Uh, select driver or oh oh hey Ricky uh, when's when's band practice <laughs> Angelica <laughs> the the rug rats uh, all grown up yeah Alex he looks like something from an anime he's got that uh... mm. I don't know what that pose is Mailing. All right. You giving yourself a hug there? Mr. Slim. Mr. Slim. Not sure what Mr. Slim's about. Linda. Linda's angry. Billy. Just got off the Air Force Base. Raina. Work with somebody named Marina. All right, I think I'm gonna go with Mr. Slim. <laughs> Do, oh, we're just gonna name him Null. Mr. Null. Z is done. Okay, select driver. What did he say? Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. Great. Ooh. Uh, okay, so new season, driver null, cash $45,000, no trophies, no seasons under my belt. Start a third division season. $20,000 entry fee, category C car, open to all competitors. Oh. Make sure we say it. Yeah, we're going to gonna save it real quick okay uh so i have to buy a car and i need twenty thousand dollars entry fee uh so i i guess twenty five thousand towards a car huh not driving that wait i saw someone selling one of these it was a it was a non-roll it was a non-driving concept car wow some oh my gosh these are these are some pricey boys uh, note self, don't press left. Okina, Equinox, Exeter. Uh, that's definitely a Plymouth Prowler. Um, it says it's an Exeter Hot Rod. I wonder if they just couldn't get license licensing for some brands. That must be what it is, right? These are all, yeah, they got like TBR and Toyota, and then they got Mazda Miata or something. I don't know. No, no, that's a Honda S2000 because it's a Barorado Millennium. Alfa Romeo Giulia. Those are kind of cool. A Janetta. I did a race series with the Janettas. Ooh, here we go. Low to seven. No, I wanted to... Alright. Black with a red stripe. Racing green. Silver, yellow. Horrible. Uh, I think we're doing racing green. Yeah. Alright, doing it. Spending as much as I could. So we got $20,000 entry fee. We got our C-Class car season table rocket base chateau ski resort temple oil fields area 51 did that area 51 thing happened or did we all just get uh, flashed by the men in black and we don't know what happened <laughs> all right car setup Ooh. uh dry normal normal automatic 
Let's hold that. Uh, dry, clear. Okay. Oh, you can't. You gotta own tools. Okay, well, we don't want to actually change any of that. This seems like a dry clear race at the rocket base. You want to use a rumble pla pack. And you know what? We're not going to mess with the rumble pack. I'm sure it adds a lot, but uh, nah, nah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get our game save cart out of there with the mystery button. We got our rumble pack in. Makes the yeah, controller a lot heavier. Oh boy. Here we go. Everything's a roadster in this game. That's that's why it's called roadsters. Oops. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's uh, a bit touchy on the steer. Oh, it's touchy on the steering, and then it wants to understeer. So, I mean, I guess I did pick a Lotus. Uh, Lotus Seven. Oh, there's dirt here. Oh, that's not good. Woo! Time to play. Time to play. I think I picked the best character. Oh no. Yeah, uh, street tires, not so good on dirt. It's really cool that the tires get dirty. Um, and slowly wear off the dirt. Hey, so lamp record. You're in eighth place. Good job. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is really touchy to steer. I'm gonna try the uh, push up and, no, no, it's really hard to center. So there's a trick with uh, some racing games, if you need more resolution, or you need a little more control in your steering in a racing game, you push up on the analog stick, and then you push left and right that way, have slightly better control, but it I don't know that that's working for me. Went in the dirt again. Or I guess I'm in the dirt and I went in the grass. Okay. Have I just gotten horrible? Uh, the rumble pack is just the 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 in the dirt. Ooh. Yeah, that dirt on your tires does not make that easy. Okay, we did a little better by like six seconds or something. Yeesh. I am super far behind. I probably should have picked a different car. Ooh! You slow down and suddenly your steering gets like super responsive. We can cut the wheel, do a 90 degree turn. I don't know, I don't think this is too bad. I just, I think the analog on the N64 controllers is never really suited towards uh... Dogs are being weird, sorry. Is there, oh, there's a view change. Ah, uh, here we go. This might be a little better. Frame rate seems to have gotten worse. Ooh. Okay, let's see if I can do any better. 9.48. No, wait. What?
Is it 948 better than my prior lap? Is that what it's... Oh my gosh. I feel like this might actually be harder to control in first person. And back on the dirt. This is a straight up rally cross event. <laughs> and I keep driving in the grass right there because I oversteer immediately. Should have picked a front wheel drive car. <laughs> How many roadsters are front wheel drive cars? Where's dog pole when you need them? Oh, look at first place. He's like way up there. Minute 15, 16? Minute 16? Oh, I'm 18 seconds behind. Ah. That's not good. doesn't even let you finish the race. It lets everybody else finish the race. It doesn't let you finish the race. That's really, really strange. Alright. Sorry about that. Uh, so do I have to try again? Oh, I got $500. The good news that you get uh, you get some money for uh, completing the race, even if you don't complete the race. Um, yeah, I sure. Uh, it's dry, cloud, light, rain. Wait a minute, rain stopping after one lap. But it says the road surface is dry. I don't know. And it changed my camera back to the, uh... Right, yeah. Well, it says the road surface is dry, though. It's kind of... They, they just know that the rain's going to stop. <laughs> How you doing today, dog of hole? I was actually uh, just saying you would know if there's any front-wheel drive roadsters that might be in this game. Also, you might like some of these car names. Uh, they obviously got licensing from some manufacturers and not others. Because there's definitely a, uh, I'm thinking it's a Honda S2000. It's called something Millennium. And I was like, is that a Miata? So obviously it's an S2000. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I took a little bit of a hit. I need a, I, I can't actually use this camera angle. It's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, um, I don't think I can go through the, I'm in a championship, I don't think I can do that, but I'll try. Oh jeez. I feel like, I'm thinking about it, and I may actually have an N64 racing wheel downstairs. I might want to go see if I have, I could, wait a minute. Oh, did everybody pit in to change tires? No way. Really? What kind of nonsense is that? Uh, it said I was 0.66 behind, I think. Or ahead. I, I really don't know, honestly. But I do know that I'm awful at this.
trying to find a camera angle that helps me uh, steer the car, and it's just... Hmm. It's five laps. I'm not going to be able to hold the lead for five laps. Not with the way I'm... Oh, gosh. Here we go. There's the start line. Lap record. Time to play. <laughs> yeah, really weird voice lines. Like, time to play. Oh my gosh, come on. Get back on the road. I feel like buying the Lotus was the worst choice. Oh, and it started raining again. Ha! Huh. Okay, did they all go in and get tires? I think they did. Wow. I think I like this better in the rain on, uh, oh, no I don't. That was a spicy turn. Oh my gosh, I thought the turn started. Viewing angle is just very strange. Like the car goes sideways and the camera is no longer behind the car, you know? It does one of those things. Oh, come on. Get back. Get moving forward. Keep moving. Not messing up. We're going to try first person for a little bit. See if maybe I can keep a better feel for the car, especially with the rain. It's, uh... Okay. I just counter steered a bit. That That felt pretty good. clean lap we can take a first place win maybe that that second place car is catching up pretty quick and I'm just like foot oh geez that's a wall yeah he's gonna catch me <laughs> come on mitigate the loss oh oh it's just right all up in the wall Here, hold on we're gonna turn the mirror back on Yeah, I literally got this game in the mail uh, yesterday, I think. Oh, that's that's good. How do I reverse? Oh, good. Trying to figure out how to do reverse, I just lost all my positions. We're in fifth place now. car just feels like it's way slower than all the other cars, but, you know, what do I know? What a weird race. Okay, can we, can we move, there it goes. Lotus 7. If I hadn't driven into that wall, I probably would have had, like, second or third, right? Um, yeah, I don't think it lets you, lets you change cars. Uh, no. No, I think I have to actually go through the championship here. Race number three, thick snow. 
Okay. I wonder if it had me on rain tires, because that just automatic... Oh, here we go. We're in the garage. All right. We got the Jigatsu JS4. <laughs> the Janetta G33. Janetta's a thing. Alfa Romeo Guia. Real car. The Borato Millennium. This is the car I was thinking is a S2000. There, it's in an S2000 color. <laughs> Because it kind of looks like a Miata, but it obviously isn't, you know? Two liter I-4. That, it's a Millennium, so it's an S2000, right, Dogapult? We got MRS Spider, which is probably would have been a better car to buy. A TVR Chimera, yeah, that's licensed. Wiseman Roadster MF3. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with made up. <laughs> uh, it's a Corvette. It's called a Vertige Stallion, which would have been better if it was a Mustang, because that's that's definitely a Corvette. That's definitely a uh, like C5 Corvette. I don't know. <laughs> Plymouth Prowler. Don't believe me? There you go. Now it's a Plymouth Prowler. <laughs> the Equinox EX320. That's a that's like a Mercedes something or a, is that a BMW? Ah, oh, yeah, it's a BMW. <laughs> All right, the Okina Corsair S. Or, I'm sorry, Corsair 600. That one. Like a Nissan? Uh, oh, what is this one? Yeah, you're welcome to lurk here. Yeah, the 300ZX convertible? Is that what it is? It looks like it's got the taillights and the headlights of one. And it's a 600, so it's a 300 times two, you know. We got the Manta Rapier, uh, which that one kind of reminds me of a Porsche with the headlight fender shape. And then you just have an, a Mitsubishi Spider, you know, because why wouldn't you just have a licensed car right next to a car that's made up? Very confusing. A Victory Fantasy. Oh, um, that's... Shoot, that's an older one and I can't think of what it's called. want to say it's British. <laughs> I want to say my phone just went off. Alright, moving on to the next one. Vertige Class X. That's another Corvette. That's an earlier Corvette. Uh, like a C2, I want to say. I'm not 100% sure. Corvette convertible. That's a Ferrari. VM8. <laughs> Vin Vinguati. Okay. The flame. That's a Viper. Flame F1. That's, a, that's that's just straight up a Viper. There's no question. Uh, Mindstar. Okay, this is the Mitsubishi. Or, I'm sorry, Mercedes. This is the Mercedes. The other one was the BMW. Mindstar 600. I don't know what that one actually would be. <laughs> the Arrowhead Falcon, the Thunder Cougar Falcon Bird. Um, that's a that's a the uh, uh, the Ford. Uh, not really a Ford. The Shelby Cobra. That's what it is. Shelby Cobra. That's why it's an Arrowhead Falcon. I think. I think that makes sense. No idea on that one. I have no idea what this is. I don't like it. Jaguar? Jaguar. Uh, Arbon Nova 12. 
that. Oh, jeez. That's one of those smaller... I want to say, like, Saline or something, but I can't think of what brand I'm trying to think. put my finger on it. No idea. Moving on. We got our Equinox Apogee 7, which is, like... Really one of those cars with the one-sided roll protection. The driver is the only important one, you know. You got your uh, your Lamborghini Diablo Spider or the Velocima Raptor. Which, by the way, this is actually really kind of. There we go. There's the color. <laughs> We've got our Ferrari F40. I'm sorry, the Vingiati VM12. They're keeping the brand names with the cars. That's good. And we get that Ford Indigo. That con That's an actual concept car. Someone was selling a rolling one of these on uh, Facebook recently for an absolute fortune. Um, no engine or anything. It was just a fake car that was rolled around at shows. Renault Spider. That's a real car, obviously. Scalara Scarla Roadster I don't Okay Back to the Alfa Romeo Spider A Fiat Barchetta Mindstar 200R <laughs> What? Mindstar? Mindstar Got the Equinox EX280 that's a BMW Z something or another, right? Then you get your Lotus Elise, your Bella Zeta Mark III, your Gatsu JS4. Okay, wait, I think we already went over these. This one would be the Miata, I think. Looks kind of like one. This Bella thing. I don't know. All right. Well, we're done looking through the cars. Actually, I wonder if I can sell this thing. What can I sell it for? Oh, oh no. Wait a minute. <laughs> it was worth less than what I paid for it. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's find something for 24,000. Alfa Romeo Spider? thinking about the Lotus Elise, but that's too much money. I need four grand more to do that. Alfa Romeo Guglia. In a nice green? Maybe. It weighs just over a ton. 110 miles an hour. Ah, uh, that's too much money. That's too much money. That's the wrong class. <laughs> uh, the Gilia might be a good choice. Let's see here. JS4. MX5? JS4? Maybe? Hmm, it's not that heavy. Yeah, it's funny, this is the slowest thing. Uh, 113, 118, 118, 19, 11. 127 miles an hour, Alfa Romeo Spider. It's horrible looking, I think I'm gonna get it. Yeah, some of them have licenses, some of them are just bootlegs. I won't have enough money to pay the entry fee next season. Yeah, let's just do it. I didn't have enough money anyways. No, let's get out of here. This is front wheel drive. Beautiful. That's what I was looking for. Are we on snow tires? No. We need to be on snow tires. Alright. I got my rumble pack inserted. We're ready to go. Studded's more for, uh, like, ice. This is snow. Yep, 
Yeah, it's definitely front wheel drive. That's a lot more manageable in this this game. You steer with the brakes. <laughs> oh man. Bunch of uh, roadsters driving in the snow. Wait, that guy's got his hard top up. What the hell? These are roadsters, man. Oop. And I've spun. What the heck? I just realized I can't... Something's really wrong here. What... What's view seen? Oh, this has got a photograph mode. Heck yeah. There we go. Dr. Null. In Snow Raker. Right. Just making stuff up. Found the handbrake. It's like a big straightaway. Everybody's changing tire. Everybody's pitting in. Why does everybody else pit in? I don't think there's like damage. You could probably just change your tires or something, right? Okay. Just come out of the pits straight across the track. That's, that's not how you do that. But, you know, whatever, bro. It's pure planning, is that what he said? Assassin. Assassin the enemy. T-bone me. Drove right into my door. Time to play. Time to play. Yeah, so we started with a uh, randomizer app to pick a game to play. And this is what we ended up with. A game I literally just got yesterday. And everybody's pitting in again. Please keep doing that. You're giving me an advantage, because I'm not pitting in every lap. Uh, but I am getting shoved into a wall. And there's something wrong with my car. Really bizarre. Oh, 
Into the wall. Come on. Come on. Get some traction. Okay, get that traction. Did I pop the clutch? Wah, bah, 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 bah. Ooh. Rear-ended me. Ah, oh, this ain't too bad for a N64 racing game, honestly, but... Not exactly the easiest thing to control ever. Oof. There go my positions. God. And I'm back into a wall. Can I? Ah, you hold Z to go into reverse. Okay. And just drifted into a wall again. Hmm. What an interesting game. Driving. I'm sorry. Here we go. Drift. Drifto. Rip that handbrake, power over. Wait a minute, it's front wheel drive. It's You're just ripping the handbrake, that's all. So far behind the race. <laughs> they still gave me $500. Dr. Null. Yes. Pull down those shades. All right, we got dry, clear weather. We got dry tires on the car. Let's give it a go. <sighs> give it a go. See what happens. Burn it up. Oh, it's way more touchy now. Wow, this is all just dirt everywhere. Maybe I should put some studded tires on. <laughs> um, Indiana Jones called? He wants you to not steal his, uh, trap design. Right now, loud. 
I I feel like you actually have to be doing a, an immensely good job driving, unlike games like Cruising USA where you can constantly make mistakes. This this feels like, you know, you would have to be pixel perfect. Not pixel perfect, uh Forza. Ah, uh, I don't know, man. I feel like Forza's got better controls than this. You can steer the cars a little, uh, a little better. I mean, obviously, Forza's a couple gens. Well, no, it came out on Xbox, so one gen newer than this. Um, and we we really made a lot of improvements. Oh my gosh. Demo Derby. Demo Derby drives better than this, and that's there is a Demo Derby 64 for this system. Actually, you know, I take that back. It feels about this way. I wonder if it's just the analog just doesn't lend itself to racing games. So we randomly selected this game, like I said. We're probably gonna do one championship. We're not gonna like play through the entire game. Oh my god, I'm just driving into walls. It's like you make a little mistake and suddenly you're in a wall and you can't do anything about it. Like there, I turned in a little too soon. And when you slow down for the corners, everybody's so much faster than you. Is there a difficulty setting? Did I put this on hard by mistake? <laughs> oh, man. I feel like I'm getting better as I drive off the track. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of it off the track. That was sharp, bro. I love how I'm about to get lapped. I'm, I'm driving bad, I'm driving poorly, but honestly, this, this AI definitely does not let up. See, I tried to hit the brakes there, and it still went off the damn track. Understeer City. Here we come. Yep. I feel like I'm getting the hang of it, but again, I'm I'm still about to be lapped by whoever's in first. The race is over. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Apparently, the Lotus Elise is the car to go with. I mean, I should have known that. I get two points in this championship. This is a dry, no forecast change race. Yeah, two more races. 
Alright, let's see if we can actually hold on to a position this time. I'm starting to get the hang of this game. At least I think I am. <laughs> what did I just say? Wow. Wow. Open my big mouth. You heard those words coming out? You let them come out, and then that's where we're at. Oh no. Oof. That hurry. That hoit. Uh, the song request system is disabled during gaming streams that aren't Minecraft. We play song requests during Minecraft because uh, we aren't posting VODs and we need something to break up the block building nonsense. Right now you've got to listen to my voice and this awesome jam that's in the background. And the cars that sound like vacuum cleaners. <laughs> Say Dogapult, uh, you probably know what's the best car in the game. Oh, is Dogapult? Did he leave? Ah, oh, bro. Bro! Oh no, that's a wall. Driving right into the wall. Yeesh. Alright, come on, turn the corner. There you go. I feel like the controls aren't too difficult, it's just really precise, and you'd have to be super focused to complete these races and win, you know? And you'd have to pick the right car. Like, all the cars are obviously not competitive with each other if the Lotus Elise is winning by such a margin it nearly laps, you know? Yeah, the Hoova Dustmaster Pro. Hold on, just a second. I realized I needed to bump up the audio, so let's see if this is any louder for you guys. Is that any better? Can you hear the sweet jams? The sick beats in the background? Okay. You gotta tweak it sometimes. Some games are louder than others. Louder. Louder. -er. I said it. Deal with it. You know I'm right. Oh, look at that. See, I made that corner without going in the dirt that time. It only took me four laps. Yeah, the sound effects are louder than the music. Uh... I, I probably could have changed that in the options menu, but I don't... You can't change it in-game, which is... It's always a big bummer, because, like, yeah, you can set it in the menu, but you have no point of reference. When Well, when your cars sound like vacuum cleaners, you usually want the music a little louder, but hearing the nonsense jam in the background... It's probably that way for good reason, you know? The, the music's probably not so good. Gosh. 
Yeah, the voice acting's always. Oh, look at that. It's, it's so You know, like what? Can I get subtitles on? There's no subtitles on. Why? Why is the voice acting so quiet? The voice acting and sub the sound effects are on the same slider. I can't hear anything. <laughs> I've always liked subtitles in games. It uh, you don't miss as much with them. Yeah, man. I I swear. I'm so glad all of the streaming services allow subtitles and like DVDs had subtitles for the most part. And, you know, on VHS, it was horrible because like you're listening to a magnetic tape. The audio was always distorted if it was a rental. You know, it, it was never a good experience. Like you had no idea what people were saying sometimes. The race uh, is over. And the race is over and I'm Almost, I wasn't that far behind that time. Um, I I like subtitled anime. Fight me, no, don't really fight me. Um, I always thought subtitles were better. You got more of the feeling and originality of the voice actors, the way the story was intended to be. When it gets translated, they change things. Some shows don't, but. It was just in my experience, you know. Wow, I've got two grand, guys. We're winning. We're gonna race around Area 51. The last race. Here we go outside. Ready. Is it is it outside time? Alright, hold on a second, I'll be right back. Don't know where. I didn't leave for that long. <laughs> We're gonna let them back in after the last race. Been trying to keep that dog from pooping in the house. <laughs> we'll leave her out there for a bit. Hopefully she'll do it outside. Oh man, we are just like up on this military base. I, I, I like this. I like this. This is kind of fun. There's a tank right there. The tanks are driving around. Oh yes. Oh, yes. We doing it. Going fast in a desert. Those tanks are just going to shoot me and it's going to be all over, you know. What is this? We're in some underground caverns with some carved walls. Wow. Kind of like this. The level design isn't too terrible. I mean, the the tracks aren't amazing, but you know, it's N64 racing game. Yeah. Am I doing good? Is that what you're saying? I finally figured out how to drive this game. Woo. Time to play. Time to play. That was that was a mistake on my part. By the way, I was not gaining on the first place person, even though I was making ground on these guys. He's just pulling away so fast. 
I'm not gonna read the chat right now. I'm actually doing okay. Like a bump there. That's a really bad spot to have a bump. <laughs> I, I actually, you know, at first impression on this game was that it was really bad. I think I had just picked a terrible car. Um, I'm in a front wheel drive car, so I've still got like understeer issues now, but I don't know. I don't hate this. This, this, this is, this is passable. I, I'd say, you know. If it wasn't so difficult, and the audio was a little better, it'd be a better game. Um, maybe, maybe just a difficulty slider. But on a scale of one to ten, I would probably give this like a six and a half. It's something you'd play, and you might play it more than once <laughs> and I'm sure it has lots of different levels of championship and cars and whatnot definitely took a while for me to get the hang of the uh, steering controls I mean we're in the sixth race here and I'm finally catching up with the other cars I know I'm not like the best at racing video games um, but I feel like the majority of the audience that would have picked this game back up, up in the day picked this game up back in the day there, there's English uh, might have been challenged a little bit too much with it it's probably why this is a budget title like this is like a 4 or 5 dollar game I think uh, if I recall correctly Ooh. That's a wall. Lap, lap. I did a better lap that time than I've ever done before. A right, little we'll, we'll break, turn in, yeah. See if we can, uh, oh no. Oh geez, I went into the infield a little too far. Come on. Oh, we could get a podium, boys. Oh, that helicopter is like extra low now. The the stereo vacuum cleaner sound effects of my car and the one just like it right behind me. Do I actually get to cross the line? Whoa! I haven't played Beetle Adventure Racing. We got we got a podium! It's third, but it's still a podium. There's there's no way I would beat that Lotus Elise in this car. I don't know. I yeah, six and a half out of ten. That's that's what I would say. Um We're gonna save. Maybe I'll pick this back up. I got seventh. You just said it was embarrassing. Uh, the next season takes $20,000 to enter. And you have to have a C-Class car, which means... This game has softlocked itself. I could sell my car and buy a cheaper one and I would not have enough money. After one season. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go let my dog back in. We'll be right back. We'll pick another game randomly with uh, that app I found. We'll be right back. <laughs> 